Well, here I am at the JVC stand here at IBC 2018 in their little, uh, little garden they've got going here in the corner, uh, which they're using to obviously demonstrate their cameras. And the man sitting next to me, of course, is Gustav. Hi, Gustav. Hi, hello and welcome again. Thank you very much. We always have something exciting to talk about sure. here at JVC. And we've got it's no exception today. Sitting on the floor here looks like a new camera. Yes, correct. And uh, when we remember NAB, we presented our G by HC 900 as the connected cam family. And I mentioned to you there will be something new. And yeah. this is this nice camera which I have here in my hand. And we have two models of it. It's the G by AC 500 and also the G by AC 550. That's the new 4K handheld camcorder. And maybe I explain a little bit yeah, the difference yeah. between the two models. Okay. First of all, the standard recording is MOV and MP4 files, yeah. uh, but the uh, 550 gets some extras okay. on it. Uh, so what is extra on the 550 is, first of all, we have additional codec, like MPEG-2 and MXF codec. Uh, we supporting also GPS on that. Uh, furthermore, we have uh, for the streaming, we support uh, 60 protocol on the 550. And uh, also we use broadcast overlay uh, on the 550, as we know already from the other series. And uh, another difference is that we have a built-in Wi-Fi area for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz as AC, also MIMO antennas, for get a strong Wi-Fi in, into addition to that. Well, connected camera means, uh, as usual, we say, must be connected to the outside world. And I mentioned already the built-in Wi-Fi, but both cameras have the capability on the back side for a fixed uh, RJ45 uh, cable connections. Uh, USB host as usual for yeah. dongles yeah. like Wi-Fi dongle or LTE dongles of yeah. course and uh, for the streaming itself we have a new streaming engine so we can in principle glass to glass stream up to 20 uh, megabits wow. by 1920 1080p yeah. also all the streaming function are in HD of course sure. uh, furthermore we have FTP upload but uh, this unit gets an auto FTP so you can set a clip size and automatically will during your shoot uh, the file will be transferred nice. furthermore we have the remote items by a tablet as yeah. usual in our products and what's also uh, new on the camera is uh, EFB also audio return over IP over the network but furthermore comes also video return over IP, so that will be a built-in video decoder, so you can get the video return from your station to the camera. So that all the connection things to the, to the camera. To make the operation for the uh, shooter much easier and clear indication of all the network functionalities, we have two indications here. One is standard for re uh, recording, which everybody knows on every camcorder. Start, stop, you get green and red. But also we give a separate, clear network indication. So you can see you are alive or you have a trouble on a network or something else, you have a clear indication. And again, both is individual. Um, as far as sensor size, what sensor size is this? Well, we have a 4K camcorder where we use a one inch sensor. Yeah. And when you look to the camera itself, you have a very large 20 times lens on it. Um, the, the ratio for that one compared to 35 millimeter is between 28 and 560 millimeters. And, but we got with this lens and the sensor, we got a very high sensitivity. So we're running about F11, F12, depending on the 50 or 60 Hertz. Fantastic, as far as media goes, what does it record onto? We're using, uh, well, the, our target is always that the customer, if they have a trouble with the media, get it very quick and everywhere. So we use standard here on the backside slot. We have two SD card slots. Okay. Um, that's uh, good for all HD recording, as well for 4K 30p recording yep. uh, with uh, maximum 30p. Uh, but we mentioned already uh, the camera can record 4K in uh, Apple ProRes, so yeah. very high resolution. Yeah. 
then this media will not work anymore. We need a fast media and we need more size on the media. At this point, normally we come to a point where our media gets very expensive. And, but we think, again, it must be a reasonable uh, media. And I have an example of this media here in my pocket. And this is this, this small device. And it looks a little bit special, but this is just a caddy. So this is an optional caddy you can purchase. And you can use a normal SSD drive. That's a type M2 drive, which you can purchase in any, any uh, computer store. And it's very comfortable and very, basically very cheap. So 250 gigabyte starts in the market around about 60 euro. And of course, if you want to have long time shooting, yeah. it's easily to increase to 500 gig, one terabyte, and even 400, uh, um, two terabyte drives. Brilliant. And it's very easy, drag and drop. It will have an option as a USB connection here. Yeah. So when you put it out, you easily can use it on your workstation or on your laptop. This is a really a key issue for the camera, for the customer yeah. to make long time in very high resolution, long time shooting in 4K. Gustav, an amazing product again from JVC. Obviously, this is the first time we've seen this. When can we uh, expect to see these in the market? Well, we will see this in the market, the 500 series. Uh, around about uh, end of January. The 550 we're expecting in February. Brilliant, Gustav, thank you. Now obviously you're, you're showing it here at IBC. If people weren't able to come and see you and they want to find out, or oh, he's got something else, I can tell. One here we point, go, go on then, go for it. I will mention, because it's a quite important point. You know, this typical uh, handheld camcorders in the market, we, we have it in the news area. Yeah. And it's very important not only to see the shape of the camera, it's also positioning of the bottoms and so on. This is a real feedback what we got from the, from the field, from the users. So normally, this, in, the, in the case of a new situation, normally on a tripod, very high, you don't want to have bottoms on the top. Yeah. So we listen to them and make a clear structure of the mini construction. Everything is from here. And as known, we use our standard menu operation so you can create your own uh, customer menu and also we have a lot of bottoms where are numbers here where you can create your own functionalities and features on that. You think of everything here at JVC as always. Um, again, people want to find out more, can't get here, is there a website? Yeah, gvcpro.eu and you'll find the information on this. Good stuff, thank you very much. As always, another amazing product here from JVC showing at IBC 2018. Of course, if you want more from us this year, you'll be finding it on our website, and that, of course, is kitplus.com.